Hey y'all, welcome back to the Guide Piper. I'm going to tell you why I do not swing a broom handle at a wasp anymore. I will not do that, especially left-handed. You know, the, uh, the end of the broom that doesn't have the brushes on it, you know, I turned it around one time I swung it like a bat, you know, I was a baseball player, you know, and they always told me, I, even though I always batted right-handed, everyone always told me, my coaches even, that I had the, I had the most beautiful left-handed swing. So anyway, um, so one day this red wasp was hanging, flying outside my table, outside in the back patio uh, at a previous house I lived at. And uh, and um, it's bugging me, and so I, I didn't know what to do. It was an enclosed area, kind of a little area there, uh, and so I picked up the broom, and uh, just he was just hovering over the table, you know, just kind of menacing, and, and you know, menacing me, you know, but did not really. But I just I said I'll, I'll just take one swing at him, and I swung it left-handed and shocked myself because I, I, I hit him perfectly. I didn't even really want to. I, I, don't like to, I don't like to kill anything. I thought, what are the odds on this? I, and I hit him so flush, it was like a home run or something, because the sound, I could feel it, you could hear it. And then, it, then, when he, then he went and hit the wall about three feet away, and you could hear that, and you could feel that. And, and I was like, oh my God, I was like, pop, pop. And then, it, and, then, and then I was like, oh my God. And then, it, then he, went, he landed on the ground, and he was just writhing, he was on his back, and he was making this hissing sound, and he was on his back, on the ground, making this hissing sound, I've never heard it before. You know, kind of, kind of like that. It wouldn't stop. I'm like, oh man, I, I am really sorry, man, I did not mean to do this. I didn't know what to do, he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop. So then I figured, you know, I'll turn the broom around and we try to brush him away or something. Maybe he'll fly away. He kept on, he was, he was a tough guy. I finally kept brushing him. And finally he was just, body was falling apart. I don't know what to do if he couldn't fly. And finally on the last swing out to the grass, he, I think he died. I think he died. I took him out best I could. I'm sorry. I don't, but that's why I will never swing a, a broom handle at a, had a wasp anymore, a red wasp. Instead, now I go after them with, you know, my 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 hands, you know, or, or, uh, or something soft, you know. I, I even have this little stick I keep here. It's got a little, it's got some fe uh, paper on the end. It just, it's, it's, I don't, cause I don't really want to. I don't want to kill them. I just, I just usher them out the door. You know, I'm not afraid of them. You know, I established my dominance over that insect kingdom with that one swing, man, one fell swoop. But I'll never do it again. And I, I have asked for forgiveness from, from the insect kingdom and, and from God for that. And I, I've received it. I, I, I learned my lesson. Guide Piper to you all.